Hey what's up guys, my name is Brad, go back to the channel, go back to the Duel Links video. Today, as you can see on screen, the Bones event is now here. We've just loaded up the application, so I have no idea what card rewards he has, or how the event is uh, set out. We know he's going to be a roaming duelist, so let's go in and see, we've got a bonus duel rewards campaign, so that's really cool. You can get bonus duel rewards, and also duel orbs been sent as gifts. So let's see what happens now. I like the art. The... the the art fits very very well for Bones. I didn't know whether they were going to do new art or they were going to just uh, reuse assets from uh, they already had, but uh, this looks pretty good. I'm just wondering whether he has voice acting. Um, because obviously in the TV show he didn't say much. Uh, other than brains, I think. I can't remember. It's been way too long. But I like how they're having these backstories. And this is definitely, you know, taking place after the, uh, what's it called? Oh, not Casey Cup, Battle Sea. That's the one. There we go, and then... I like how they just reference Bakura, despite Bakura not being available in the game right now, like, to get. So that's, uh, kind of cool. Here we go. Bones now appears in the Duel World. Right, so we've got an 8 day event, we've got our bonus duel reward event, let's have a look and see what we have here, so, okay, so we're going to get, we have to get a game mat and some sleeves, Does, can we see the mat? We can't, uh, but he does have armoured zombie, which uh, again is not great, uh, ghost trick skeleton, so ghost tricks are finally coming into the game. Uh, could be normal summon unless you control a ghost trick monster. Once per turn, change his card to face down defense position. When his card is flipped face up, banish cards from the top of your opponent's deck face down up to the ghost trick monster control. That's not bad at all. Uh, Castle of Dark Illusions we've seen before. Not great. Call of the Mummy. Now this is a really, really good card. Uh, once per turn, you can special summon one summon monster from your hand. You must control no monster to activate and to resolve its effect. I believe there's a water one like it as well. Uh, and then finally, Pumpkin, the King of Ghosts. Uh, a bit of a disappointment for an ultra rare, I think. Um, but there's also some other ghost tricks as well. Ghost trick mummy. Uh, again, similar sort of effect. While this card is face up on the field, you can normal summon one ghost trick in addition to a normal summon or set. You can also special summon any monster except dark monsters. So, ghost tricks are going to be a thing. And that's the one we just looked at. So that means we need this one, ghost trick ghoul. And uh, come normal summon unless you control another ghost trick monster. Once per turn, you could during your main phase, you can target one ghost trick monster you control. Its attack becomes equal to the combined attack of all ghost trick monsters currently on the field. But if it does, only that monster can attack its turn. So it's kind of like a union attack for ghost tricks, which is kind of cool. Uh, so there it says complete missions to get cards, card sleeves, and game mats. So let's go and see if the missions are over here. They should be. They are. Okay, so. Win 1 duel, 3 duels, 7 duels, play 10 and 15, that's cool. Achieve 1 no damage win in duels against Bones using Joe Wheeler, and a three, achieve 3 no damage win, so that's going to be cool to try and uh, beat him using that deck. So what we're going to do, because I don't get that here, Bones appeared in Duel World DM, so let's switch out to... Uh, we're going to go Yugi, and see if this is the right deck, because I haven't played in Duel Monsters for ages. So uh, let's see if this one has, this should be Sega Phoenix, yeah, Sega Phoenix with a random Pyrex thrown in, so we're either going to brick or we're going to do decently. Um, but again, this video is just to show you what Bones is like, uh, see if we can see any of his other reward cards, if he has any other cards. Uh, level 40, so he does have Ryu Koki as well, that's another good zombie get. And then the damage to this card, Bound a Warrior or Spellcaster, destroy it, so pretty good on that front. And Monster Reborn. Monster Rebone, sorry. If your opponent special summoned a monster this turn, activate this card by targeting one monster in your opponent's graveyard. Special summon it to your side of the field in defense mode. When this card leaves the field, banish that monster. So it's kind of like Call of the Haunted, um, but not as good, I guess. Uh, Realm of the Pumpkin, level 40. Let's see how this goes and uh, see what we can do against level 40 bones. That is a creepy, creepy ass picture for Bones. I love it. By the way, let me know with you guys' thoughts on the new uh, recording thing. I'm recording with Nox now, so it's 60 frames a second, 1080p. Looks pretty good, I think. This is 
is your last chance. Leave your cards or perish. Do okay, so they actually got him saying lines. I've set a monster. I'm ending my turn. It sounds pretty similar. I don't know if it's the same voice actor. Um, thank God we drew Pyrex this early. I really don't want to be bricking with it. Uh, let's of course use Viking Island to uh, to special summon the Sacred Phoenix, the Sacred Chicken, in attack mode. And then of course we'll uh, summon our Yaksha. And then use the tie that tilts uh, to uh, get over this stuff. Okay, so it's level 40 deck is using clown zombie bats. That might be a bit of a pain. For farming at least, because you are going to have to get over them real quick. But And he's got wonder blooms. Jesus, this guy is running like... Um, What's it called? Ultimate Rising dot deck. Oh, and Nightmare Steel Cage. Oh no. Okay, well, he's now can flip that, and he can destroy our monsters. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set Mirror Wall, and. Uh, I kind of want to destroy the chicken, but at the same time I don't. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to leave it. going to leave it as is, because he might attack into one of them and destroy his own monster, which uh, will be fine. Oh my god, it was fucking Pump Princess. What? Okay. So we're at least safe with one of our monsters, which is good. Uh, let's go with the ninja, because if... Uh, no wall, and then we can't attack, so let's just end again. Please don't draw another Nightmare Steel Cage. This guy's literally running the old Duel Links meta decks. Here we go. Oh my god, this animation. That's a creepy animation, that's so cool. That's really good. Oh my god, and the Castle of Dark Illusions. What does he even do? Okay, just, just giving him a boost. But, uh, we have our, uh, our mirror wall. We're good. Also, apologies you can hear the clicking uh, in my uh, with my mouse. Again, first time using Nox, so I uh, want to get some setting sorted out and just make sure everything works. Right, there we go. Mirror Wall can now be discarded. We're going to set our Ninjutsu Art Transformation and go for the win. Of course, we're going to attack with the Sacred Chicken. You could just put an explosion behind that and that would look so epic. How did I lose? You lost because you were a shitty side character. That's exactly how you lost. Do we get any decent rewards? We don't. We do get the 1000 campaign bonus, so that's what it was. Okay. That's going to make farming a little bit easier for us because that means we don't need to target 7k with our farms rather than 8k. But, uh... Yeah, this bonus event is pretty decent. Uh, there's some good rewards. You know, Call of the Mummy is an insane reward. Rio Koki is an insane reward as well. I think those two are definitely the highlights. And of course, now that we're getting Ghost Tricks in the game, that kind of opens the way for the next card trade update to have Ghost, ghost Tricks and uh, the next uh, mini box to have Ghost Tricks as well. So, really, really cool. Uh, let me know your guys' thoughts on this event in the comments section down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next Duel Links video. See you then.